For our next project, we're going to make a painting of Indian corn. And I have a picture here to show you. You can see all of the beautiful colors that Indian corn comes in. Yellow, orange, red, there's even some blues and purples. So the first step here is to draw the corn and then the next video we'll talk about adding all the pretty colors to it. So to start with the shape of the corn, about a third of the way down you need to draw a little bit something that looks kind of like a frown. Now at school you have an 8 by 12 piece of paper that you're drawing on. If you're doing it this at home you can do it on any paper that you have available. After you draw that you need to come down a little slanted and then curve the bottom. So you should end up with a shape something like this. So go ahead and pause the video and catch up to this point. After you've drawn that, then what you need to do is draw a line down the middle and then draw vertical lines until you come to the edge. You can see that one's a little thinner and that's okay. Try to keep them as evenly spaced as possible. And then after you do that, draw horizontal lines. You need to draw lightly because you will be erasing some of this. I need to draw firmly so that the camera will pick up my lines. When you're done, you should have something that looks like this. After that, you can see that the kernels of corn, of course, aren't perfectly square like a checkerboard. So to give the illusion that they're curved, what you will do is go down the side of your corn and change those straight lines into a very gentle curve. Now don't make big lumps, that won't look right, but just gently curve those lines and you start and stop at each of the horizontal lines all of the way down like so. And then you go ahead and do the other side. And at the bottom, you'll do the same thing. Once you get that done, then I want you to trace over each of the horizontal lines. And for these, you just make them straight. You don't make them lumpy. Notice that they're going in between each of the curves. After you do that, for each of the vertical lines, you need to make it a little lumpy like you did the side. So I'm going to my vertical line here and I'm changing that straight line to have gentle curves. Then I'll go to the next vertical line and do the same thing. Notice I'm not being carried away and making great big lumps. It's just a very gentle curve. I'm going to do about three with the curve heading towards the left of my paper. And then I am going to start making the curves go the opposite direction. And I'm going to do this for all of the vertical lines. I am going to hit pause on my video so that I can finish these lines. You go ahead and do all of your lines and then click play and watch the rest of the video when you're ready. Now you should have the checkerboard look, but with gentle curves on each of the lines. If you're not to this point, hit pause again and finish up. After you do that, you take your eraser, 
and go over the whole thing and get rid of all of those extra pencil lines that you don't need. That's why it's so important to draw lightly. And now that I did that, I can see a couple of places where I must have gotten in a hurry and my lines didn't match up. Now across the top, I'd like you to do the same thing. Finish off with some curves. When you're done with that, your next job is to draw the husk coming off of the top of the corn. So I would like you to start somewhere at the top and make a line that gently curves and goes right off the edge. And then make another. And then I would like you to just go ahead and draw the husks any way you'd like. I just want you to make sure you have a couple that go off of the top. I'm going to make one that kind of curves down here and maybe a skinny one that peeks out from behind. Then I'm going to take my Sharpie and trace over those husks. I don't really like the shape of that one, so I'm going to change it just a little bit. So now I would like you to go ahead and draw your husk, trace it with Sharpie, and when you're done, go over it with the eraser and get rid of all of your pencil lines. When you're done, it should look something like this. So go ahead and catch up to this point, and then in the next video, we will talk about adding the color.